What's going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you how to change your oil in your 2019 or 20 Chevy Silverado or Sahara with the 2.7 liter the new four cylinder that GM decided to come out with. I'm going to note that I'm at 2,447 miles with 77.2 hours on it and I'm at 68% oil life. So the other thing you're going to need right here is the PF66 AC Delco, AC Delco oil filter. It's going to run you like, what was that, $12.38 at the dealership. That is the only, there's only two verified oil filters to fit this truck right now, and one's a Wix, which you can get from Napa, because Napa and them. Anyways, it's WL135, so that's the other one if you want to get a Wix. But they both are standard oil filters, so they're not extended life. They're just meant for regular oil change intervals, which is fine. But I, I do want to put on an extended performance one, so hopefully that comes out soon. I don't know why it's not. I've been searching. So, and it's October 31st. Well, no, October 30th. That's not Halloween yet. <laughs> but 2019. So as of this date, that's the only two filters that are verified. I have one on order right now from Amazon, and I'll verify, and I'll probably leave that in the comments if that one fits. So, but that one's not verified. So I'm going to get under here real quick, and I'm going to show you what you need to use to change the oil. Okay. So real quick, the oil filter is on the right there, it's a spin-off style, and that is a plastic oil pan, as you see. The GM has one too to save weight, which is kind of funny. Weight and uh, save money, basically, but I'm surprised. It's a 3 eighths drive, takes that off. So I'm about to do that in a second. I have warmed up the engine, always change your engine when the oil is still warm. You know, if you worked at the dealership, you were probably doing it when it's boiling hot, and that's always really fun, because who doesn't like to burn themselves to death when they're trying to change the oil? So I'm going to grab my oil pan real quick, and we'll get started with the oil change. Make sure you use a extension when you change the oil. Oh, yep, okay. That worked. So, there you go. Oh, I forgot to do the vent. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to do the vent. Oh. Wow, that was a close call. Forgot to open up the vent on the oil pan. Oh, that would be a really close call right there. So, there we go. Let that drain out real quick. I'll clean off the plug. Can't believe this dang thing is a composite plastic. So, 3 8 drive, use an extension. That's how you're going to change the oil. And then we're going to get to the filter. Take 6 quarts. I forgot to mention that too. So use 6 quarts. Not too bad, not too shabby. I spilled some oil. But, you know, every garage floor deserves to have oil on it. So. Okay, so, oh um, no. So, basically, once you're done, put the plastic oil filter, the oil drain plug back in, just like that. It's kind of amazing, I think I just put it on my hand. I just put it on my fingers, Jesus. Uh, didn't mean to bring Jesus into this, but. That is a little shocking. Um, Alright, that's tight. And it's not going to move because you'll know when it's tight, you actually can't over tighten this drain plug. If you do, you're going to break the drain plug. So, I might be wrong. I mean, this is composite. But believe it or not, my dad thinks this is carbon fiber. But it's definitely not, not on a Chevy. 
one day, a bit of McLaren's, a bit of McLaren has a carbon fiber dream uh, oil pan, but simple enough. You hear that noise? The sound of cheap. I mean expensive. Well, wait, the truck was expensive, but they made it cheaply. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright. And I'm gonna have to get a wrench to get this off. Yep. You know, it's really funny because... Yeah, they ain't gonna be. Alright, let me grab a wrench real quick. So, okay, so I got my oil wrench, this is like a small one, it's a 2 inch, to like 2, two inch, 2 inches and 1 third to 3 inches and a four, uh, quarter, um, so it's really easy to remember, go this way, because it's righty tighty lefty loosey. Okay, wait, it's like a hose, All right. I want to bring it round. Okay, so this right here is a two inch, two inch to three inch, um, you know, oil, oil filter wrench. I'm not... Uh, Okay, I kinked it. That's great. Alright, let me redo this. Well, I remember the way it sucks the gill. Nope, do not go that way. That's tight. Alright, let me restart this. I have a two and one third inch to three inch and a fourth ratcheting oil filter wrench. And you're gonna to wanna to bring it towards the oil pan. Oh man. I'm a, I'm a professional, I swear. I've done this once before. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I've done this a ton of times. Uh, I used to change oil at the dealerships. Only messed up a few times. Only one customer went out with a uh, out oil. You know, I mean, it's an easy thing to forget. You're changing oil, and then you're like, "And eh, do I put oil back in it or not?" You know, it's really simple. No, I'm just kidding. I never really did that. Okay, let me restart this. Right here, two inch, one third to three inch, one fourth oil wrench. I've now loosened it up. So right here, you take it and bring it towards the transmission, like this way. Let, let you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Like you're turning on the faucet. That's how you loosen it. You're turning on the faucet. And like magic, it just spins off. And see, the oil's not too hot, so I'm not burning myself. It's a plus, because you don't want to burn yourself. Whoa. So, we're going to let that drain out real quick. I'm going to go and take a bath, and uh, then we'll put on the oil filter. So, here's the new filter. I did put some oil in it, it doesn't say you have to, make sure the old gasket's off, it is, I can tell, but it doesn't say whether or not to fill it up with oil, so I'll just account for putting some in, um, when I go to fill it, make sure you get on there nice and tight, not too tight, otherwise it's a pain in the butt to, to get off. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to clean this up, 
I'll do that off video real quick and uh, make sure it's as tight as you want to get it. What is it? One and a quarter turn, it says. But yeah, it's on there. So, yeah, pretty simple oil change so far. Alright, okay. So, the last thing to do is add oil. Take six quarts. I'm just going to show you me filling it up real quick. Um, besides that, pretty much good to go. I mean, this is a GM style uh, uh, funnel and it fits. I've used it since 2015, so it's been a pretty long time with that puppy. Um, make sure you check your dipstick before changing your oil. Make sure you do that. Make sure you use something that's Dexos approved. I'm using some Mobile One Extend Performance. Nothing. Really, I don't. As long as I'm using synthetic, I don't mind too much what it is. As long as it's something more name brand. AMS oil is really good. I like that. But until I find a filter that's better than just a regular one then I don't want to use anything too expensive because also with a turbo engine do you really want to run your engine that long in between oil changes so what I'm going to do next very simple run your engine check your first off check your dipstick um, then you run it and then check your dipstick again after you run it you need to add some oil add some oil it's really simple after that but I just wanted to go through so oh, I just wanted to go over again. You need a three ace inch drive. Uh, you need a longer extension. That's all you need to take off the drain plug. Super easy. You need a, a two and one third inch to three and a half inch oil ratchet um, wrench that gets it off. It's super easy. Six quarts of oil. Uh, I recommend getting the a GM style funnel. You can and you don't you don't really need to. That makes it easier though. I mean I used to work at a shop so I needed it all the time. But yeah, besides that, put six quarts in, start her up. Um, I put some oil in the filter, it doesn't say whether or not to. And again, I'm gonna keep mentioning this. There's no extended filter out right now for this this truck. So I'd be careful running this thing. I, I, I worked with Chevy. I worked at um, for a Chevy dealership, and every time I saw a car going with that oil life at zero percent, they were coming back in for uh, some sort of engine repair sooner or later. So I I just like to change my oil, and uh, you know I'm only at 2,300 miles. I know some guys I saw on the forum with their trucks they're changing it at like a thousand. I really wanted to do that, but I have to use the car and didn't have time. Um, you know. It doesn't take that long, but you do need to plan some time to change your oil. I'm at 77.7 hours, and one thing I do want to mention, I'm getting 26.8 mpgs combined in those 2,300 miles and change. I didn't even, re well, actually I actually did reset it when I got it at the dealership, but it had 5 miles on it, so. Yeah, so it's been a good truck so far, and uh, I'll see you when I probably do my next oil change. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.